Hi, I hope you're interested in designing your own injection machine. I'm about to show you what I've done so far, give you a few tips and solutions for your own injection machine, including few blueprints at the end of the video. So let's get started. At first, I will tell you how I got myself into designing my own injection machine. I've been looking for injection machine for test and short runs. I've seen many hand-operated machines, but a lazy part of me decided I want something po powered by compressed air or hydraulics. I've found few pneumatic uh, machines which seemed to be good enough. I found a video on, on YouTube of a machine on which I based my design. I will link it down below. Let's see what I've done so far. Frame is made of a construction steel, 30, 30 mm square profile and 3 mm wall. On the top is a 125 mm bore, 300 mm stroke air cylinder. The plunger is connected by custom nut made to match cylinder and plunger threads. The plunger in the middle is thinner than the end which pushes the plastic. It helps reduce friction on the barrel and allows for slight misalignment of plunger. Then the barrel itself made of stainless steel precision pipe. 30 mm OD and 3 mm wall. Just make sure you will get the precision or extruded pipe because most pipes are welded and you don't want that. Just make sure the surface inside is smooth as baby's butt. Next, uh, well, you can do better with a uh, like a gas piston or hydraulic housing but hey stainless steel works time will show for how long these threaded rods and the plates got to be redesigned so I, I won't tell you anything about it in the moment because I will explain it in the future videos when I redesign it this aluminium sleeve will increase thermal mass and will help keep the fairly constant temperature. At first I've done tests without it and keeping the temperature was a nightmare. I had to wait quite a long time till uh, till uh, plastic got uh, hot enough to, to be injected and basically was pain in the ass. So then the nozzle ho housing and then and the nozzle itself um, what i've made i try to isolate it to to show you um, to show you how i how i've done it isolate and it's uh, a sketch pretty much uh, i've done well that, that's my that's old design I tried to do a um, shut off valve, valve, but it did not work as I assume it will. So, there you go. Um, that's nozzle. There you go. I tried to do a like a spring uh, pushing on the on that housing thing to to shut it off but it it basically didn't work it it keeps dr kept dripping and nightmare nightmare um i will show you i will show you what i've what i'm using now it's uh, hold on um here you go shut off valve it basically sits like that and there's a all around uh, that sticks out of the nozzle when this touches mold it pushes it up and allow plastic to flow through those holes and into the mold so it does work pretty well there's a 
there is a blueprint of it. Um, so yeah, the, the nozzle itself, I'm I'm using different one now. I will show in a future video how I uh, what, what I'm using. I've promised you a few blueprints, so uh, here they are. There is a nozzle shut off valve, which is what I'm using now. And that's the shut off. That's the uh, plunger. There you go. And here's the. Um, the barrel sleeve which helps to keep temperature uh, at constant and here's the housing for nozzle so there you go when I update the design I will upload another video to make sure you won't miss it please subscribe now if you found it useful please give it a thumb up it will help my channel also comment down below if you planning to build building now or already built injection machine. See you later.